Hello everyone and welcome back to another Torchlight Infinite video. Now we're in season six. Uh, took me. I wasn't I wasn't playing much during this past few days, but uh, yesterday and uh, today I have more time, so I will be able to bring quite a few more uh, updates to the character. So uh, day one, I basically just did the campaign. That was like. Uh, two hour run maybe. Uh, then uh, yesterday I got to time mark seven, and today I just took down uh, T seven traveler. The video that uh, you saw at the beginning sped up because it was extremely. Uh, it wasn't the most painful uh, traveler fight I've done, but it was definitely there. Um, not extremely comfortable. So, uh, the the numbers have been crunched significantly. So normally, you would have seen people doing uh, Traveler Seven at over a hundred million DPS, uh, maybe two three hundred million. Right now, um, it's, it it was actually much more than that right like 10 million something like that i'm right now at 80 82 million i would like to say 70 million probably i had for that fight uh so yeah the, that was quite an hour crunch because yeah, i remember the numbers used to be a lot bigger for for t7 traveler already and so let me let me show you the gear setup that I've been using. I'm doing I'm doing green phantoms. I'm not using any of the new supports. I've tried them, and uh, at at the base level they seem to be worse than the supports that are available, and they don't actually some. I'm doing warlock a little bit of a, a spoiler, uh, well not a spoiler because you know warlock is amazing, but uh, this thing doesn't get any benefit from off the beaten track. Whereas I can have a massive plus seven to elemental fusion to all, all of these supports have plus seven. It's insane. So right now they are worse, but um, I expect them to be much more competitive once I could get it to level level five probably. So uh, gear. This is the helmet. Um, just resistances basically in minion damage. Uh, right now, some some of the changes that they did, they changed basically almost everything around the game. The crafting system is completely different. It's much closer to what it was in season one, season two, with uh, much way more deterministic than before, and not a lot of you know trying to 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 get lucky with the prototype crafting thing. They got rid of that completely. So it's basically. If you've only played the last two seasons, it's only like advanced crafting. Uh, uh, if you played, you know, early season one, two, it's almost that. And probably I can show you later on. Uh, the necklace, I bought this one not knowing that I had to use Effie to craft it. You know, kind of silly on my part. Of course you did. But uh, what I did is they, they, they simplified the bases a lot. Uh, there is no longer like attack speed or or anything. Your necklace is mostly your source of main stat now. So you have like, I think five, fifteen, and twenty five uh, of the main stats. So intelligence, dex, or or strength, and that's what you want to pick. Green phantoms skill with intelligence. So that's why I wanted here. Uh, I got a tier one minion damage and and just some attack speed, armor, and uh, resistance here. This spell, they reworked the Cry of Divinity, as you can see, uh, and this could be even better. You could, you could have this uh, 8 command every second for 4 seconds when they land a critical strike, and you can also corrode this to be 12 command every second for 4 seconds. Uh, so basically, that is this is your source of command, and, and I think the way it's working is that it's granting it for every minion that you have, because... If you see, when we start fighting, my command goes through the roof. I'm almost... I've never been able to, to keep this much command 
without having like command in every single gear piece. And right now that belt is solving it completely for me. Of course, I do have the passives here and a passive tree, but uh, right now I think Cry of the Divinity is like the best thing you can use. The implicit is completely silly. I don't know what uh, why 10 max life, but you know, it's a low level item. So I guess that's the reason why. Now, uh, the ring, again, they they created new bases. There is spirit rings now, which are basically the minion rings. And they come with the minion damage implicit. And you cannot roll minion modifiers on the regular rings, only on these ones. <clears throat> and the mod pool is pretty good. Um, here's the list. Let me show you. So in prefixes, you have, you know, your regular... Um, player stats and then you have minion damage you have main stat and here you have added flat damage to minions which is huge we we never had really um a way to get flat damage to minions or or uh, a reliable way to get a lot of flat damage right now the tree seems to give you all the increase you will ever want and what you want to focus is is getting flat damage as much from the gear um here you can have a uh, pen. The 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 pen uh, supports have been removed on, from the game, so uh, gear is probably your only source and some passives of of penetration. And in suffixes you have you know the usual command. This is much higher. It used to be like four command. Now you can get ten command per second on these. And here is your minion crit, minion crit damage, uh, minion attack speed, minion cast speed. And I think there's no there's no hybrid, but there is minion double damage here. So, uh, crafted rings, insane. Uh, you're probably still going to be using horn ring in the early game, but uh, late game, it's definitely going to be a crafted ring. Now, horn ring is better because you can roll the damage taken to negative. You can get 10% less damage taken, and you can get a crit damage up to 80%. The gloves also got added a few minion modifiers, so you can actually have damage on your gloves. Gloves were um, like the flex piece for only uh, resistances or in, in defense in general because there was no uh, modifiers. But now you can have, for instance, in these you can have active skill level and minion damage. So that's two offensive modifiers already. And you know, your regular uh, defense success with minion attack speed here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But yep, you decide how you want to build that. Mine, I have, you know, life intelligence, which is also uh, a damage modifier, and then three resistances because I wanted to almost cap my rest already. I bought an endless fortress. This one is a little bit worse than the previous version. I just made sure I wanted to get the plus one, which I don't really need because I'm using maniacal army at the moment. Or am I? I don't, I don't remember. I might. Uh, but then you have uh, arcane again, the extra maximum life is pretty it's pretty welcome um this one has only 15 percent additional damage you can get it to 18 percent uh the block is now both attack and spell block and you know the usual energy shields uh mind infusion you can now get plus two again and you can corrode to plus three and uh here i just wanted to get as much movements as possible and as high level of uh, dark gate as possible this costed me like um one fe probably and shields. Shields also got the treatment of getting minion modifiers. So now you can have minion damage, you can have main stat again, another multiplicative, and minion attack and cast speed, uh, all as prefixes. So if you want, you can have all, um, and even more, right? Okay, let me see, prefixes only. So main stat, active skill level, and minion damage, and even armor penetration, and LE penetration, yeah. And this is the in shield. I don't know if the strength shield is a little bit different than that. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll be. Okay. No, it's the same thing. Yeah, pretty good. Shields are good. Use a shield. And uh, in suffixes, of course, you have your defensive shenanigans, uh, additional defense, uh, max res, pretty good, pretty strong, and uh, recharge speed. I'll probably at some point want to build into getting high block and getting uh, recovery on block. 
like energy shield on block, so I'll probably go ES on block or life on block. I don't know. Uh, go one either life or max energy shield and one of the offensives. Uh, probably pen. And then in suffixes, I will go attack and cast it, but I need to get like super high B rolls on my resistances and suffixes to be able to do that. And uh, for weapon, I'm using the Twisted Branch. Now you might wonder why the hell are you using that? Uh, and the reason being is the basically the flat damage. Uh, Iso Arms with this is what gives me all, all the damage I have. If I remove Isomorphic Arms, I lose a lot of damage. If, even if I equip a one with it that has like, um, they're not called, called ones now, by the way, they're called um, rots. So they created a new base type, which is basically all minion modifiers. And as you can see now that I don't have isomorphic arms, the damage will come from this. And uh, it's pretty good, right? You get uh, prefixes for flat damage to minions. You get your usual minion damage and your usual minion stats. And uh, again, penetration, minion skill level, main skill level, uh, maximum synthetic quantity, which is a, a completely useless stat, by the way. And uh, in suffixes, you get uh, you get the minion damage instead, and the crit suffixes as well. Oh, this is this is pretty good suffix, thirty five percent additional. So that's probably only tier one, right? Okay, I might toy around, toy around with this with this one later on. Yeah, you need a level one hundred rod. So now uh, that's another thing. Uh, a lot of like the good modifiers are locked behind. Uh, so new crafting system divides the modifiers into basic, advanced, and ultimate, and only uh, priceless priceless gear can have. Uh, ultimate and I think priceless means it's level 100 basically <clears throat> I don't know if you can get level 100 gear that is not priceless but yeah it's level 100 and uh, here's where you can have good things like minion double damage and uh, the plus minion and the plus skill levels it's only uh, limited to level 100 so at the moment I don't have access to level 100 gear the the flame elemental drops have been nerfed like you don't get FE before Tier 7, and I don't think I've dropped every single one in, in either Tier 7. I think it's like 7-2 where you have to be. And uh, before that, all you have is like flat damage. So, But this flat damage is worse than what I can get from here, uh, 252. So that's why going a weapon like this with um, isomorphic arms is better. Now, you could, you could do a two-handed weapon. Uh, like a lot of people, what they are playing is spider tanks with with this bow. Now this is this is very good. Is is that they're doing a lot of damage, probably much more damage than I can see. Yes, yeah, more it's more at it, uh, physical, but it has minus thirty percent movement speed. I I don't I don't like that. So I'm I'm not going that way. I like to like even even at this stage. This is. This is low, low movement speed for me. Okay. Now let's go over passives. The passives have changed likely in some places. Uh, the most important thing you have to know about, for instance, God of Machines, is that uh, the cooldown reduction for you is gone. Now you only have Spirit Magi cooldown recovery speed. And so basically, these are just damage. Just increased damage. There is a lot of minion increased damage now in the passive tree. Uh, way more than before. Uh, but I opted for, you know, the usual. Uh, this passive is now it used to be like crit rating and crit damage only. Now it also have skill area. This is very, very nice. Very effective. Because it improves both your clear and your damage. At least for spiders. No, not for spiders. For uh, green phantoms and for machine guards. And then the usual, you know, plus plus level, uh, command per level per, per second. And another massive is that you have movement speed here. You have the region and recharge and movement speed, so you can get twelve here. Pretty good. I I, I grabbed this immediately as soon as I saw it. Uh, machinist, 
uh, change also a little bit. Um, you have, you know, your usual name damage, minion crit, minion crit damage. Uh, then again, uh, skill area, projectile speed, and command, and some damage here as well. Uh, minion resistance, which might not be troll to grab anymore. And then this one is pretty much the same. It no longer has the aura effect for minions. And, uh, you know, double damage stuff. I don't think Machinist is that good anymore, to be honest. I think boss, I don't know if this used to be like 20% or... I don't remember what the, the old boss used to be. But I feel like it was better than this. Uh, and... And Burning Aggression... I, I don't I don't think it's required at all with the belt. So if I'm being honest, I think going Steel Vanguard is better, although Steel Vanguard also got changed. Uh nerfed mostly. Um it, it's fair, it was the best tree in the game. So reflection no longer works with for you. Uh unless this is like applied to the auras, which I don't think it is. I think it, this only applies to you. So basically you lost the damage multiplier that you have here. No big deal because you know grabbing resist either of these passives is an amazing defensive mechanism that you can get and and commander order calling mojo can still use knowledgeable to get the empower skill level and that gives you uh some damage and uh but in general so what you used to have here is um sealed mana or they they call it now like compensation field mana compensation uh, that's completely gone. You cannot reduce the, the mana reservation of skills from this tree. You can only uh, get aura effect. Still good, but not as compelling in my opinion. And uh, you also lost the plus charges. It's no longer there. Now, uh, this for a minion player, this is good, but uh, this doesn't do anything because you don't get benefits from on defeat modifiers. And uh, movement speed on defeat also doesn't apply to you, so uh still vanguard became more of a like um non-minion tree in my opinion it lost a lot of its minion properties uh you still have uh 10 here which is probably like the best part of the tree at the moment for for damage for defense is still amazing don't get me wrong it's still an amazing defensive tree but it's not as compelling as a minion player but it might still better be better than machinist so getting i I'm, I'm thinking of getting the plus 12 uh belt for command and just getting rid of machinist and and going and going still vanguard instead because i think machinist is it's a little uh lacking in my opinion but you know you still get the double damage now now what is not lacking is warlock let me tell you that now we lost the cooldown, which for Green Phantoms, it was very important to be able to get, you know, the, 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 the Disruptive Light Cannon more often. But now it's plus to all skill levels. So all skill levels means passives uh, or auras. It means uh, support skills. It means active skills. It means uh, defensive skills. Everything gets a plus two. It's insane. And uh, of course, you still have the plus one here now. Uh, the other treatment that they gave it is it now has minion modifiers. So you have minion damage, uh, minion attack and cast speed here, uh, more minion damage here. You have reduced skill cost, pretty good. It also, uh, this tree also doesn't, doesn't have uh, compensation, mana compensation. Uh, you get uh, cooldown recovery speeds. Uh, and also, we lost the skill duration. That was That was very important for, for for my build, but it's no longer there. But you know, there's some elemental resistance if you see here, pretty good. And now, uh, this used to be like um, points that you had to waste because this was this was very good, but this gave you nothing. Now it actually gives you something. You get damage, attack, and cast speed, and you get the plus one. It's it's very it's a very efficient tree now, and uh, I'm glad they did that because um, basically a lot of minion builds went uh, warlock. And 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 like you were just putting points there to get to the end to get to this point, and everything else was just uh, for defense or or for nothing because it didn't benefit you at all. Uh, of the beating remains as insane as usual. Um, 
you know, plus four. That's why I have a plus seven because it's all skill levels from indifference, a uh, plus one and a plus four from on off the beaten track. And uh, in the side of the new god, I haven't optimized my slates at all. I just put whatever I dropped because I don't have uh, the materials for it. Uh, okay, that's gear. Let's go over skills. Um, again, I'm not using any of the new supports yet, but uh, a few additions is assault command. Uh, now I can I can keep myself above forty command, so I get the fifty per fifty six percent crit rating, which is roughly five percent crit, right? And uh, to twenty two percent additional damage, so it's not bad. It's it's way better than using the uh, the this trash servant damage. Like it's it's the same multiplier. It 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 it's slightly lesser, but you also get crit. So assault command. Um, became good because uh, command is much more available now uh, crit rating increase because of the belt I want my minions to crit as often as possible right now um, I think that the tree crit got nerfed but it got moved to the to the to the gear so you need to craft the gear to get more crit um, maniacal army because it gives um, a, a lot of additional damage and additional attack speed and you can max this out um, so for this, you only need you need like fifty command to max this this bonus, and I'm always hovering at that. Uh, scatter shot beam because uh, again, destructive life kills with uh, the number of beans, or 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 does it? I don't know if they change that honestly. Um, in TLIDB, it still showed. That um, plus beams increase uh, gave you a multiplicative damage or destructive light cannon. Uh, but there's no way to read that here. But you know, until I debate still says, says so. Um, maybe I will, I will, I will test that. Then uh, machine army with uh, blink and uh, electrocute. Electrocute right now. Uh, they got rid of abyssal. Uh, yeah, abyssal. Uh, the other support which increased the effect. So right now it's just terrain of malice, which gives you. Uh, it no longer gives you effect. So interesting. Okay. So basically, you got uh, a base electrocute in an in an AOE. Uh, they also changed shock, by the way. I'll I'll explain that uh, later how it works. And uh, I'm using stone skin because my HP pool is very low. And this gives me almost my same amount of life of damage uh, taken. Ellie Amp uh, is pretty boring. The, the, these, these auras are pretty boring. They're just more damage. Uh, they don't do anything interesting. They just give you more damage. Uh, one interesting thing they did is they remove all the other like aura effect supports. They All, all of those are not drop, now drop only. And but what you have is restrained, uh, because you no longer have the aura reservation reduction or seal mana compensation, and as they call it now, uh, on on the tree. Now you have you have restraint uh, that that you can put in each and every one of these. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And but you still get aura amplification, you know, a little bit of aura effect. And for us, the the skill area effect is also beneficial. And I'm using Frost Spirit because the region is massive. It's five percent region. Um, like I, I would like to run this as like a five link, and and maybe not run Elemental Duo, do Protection Field, and do uh, Superpower because that region is so good. And maybe I, I would even run like two Spirit Magic setup if I if I can help it. Okay. Uh, now grudge, they changed grudge. This is now a source of paralyze. Uh, uh, Mark is gone from the game, so usually that will be Mark. But now, as you can see, we have the paralyzer there applied by the spirit mages. So another source of multiplicative damage. Very, very, very nice to have. Uh, I don't have a candle. And um, okay, hero trade. This changed a lot, a whole lot. So now what you have is your base trade, which is basically 
you cast a skill and then you get overload for four seconds and you have a 12 second cooldown plus a 30 percent of time on on the buff and it now gives uh 60 percent additional damage i think it used to be was it i would like to say it was 30 or 50 i don't i don't i don't remember what it what it was before uh now the the in order for you to equip this to use the straits you need to equip the memories, the the actual memories now. Uh, so, and each memory can be equipped in a specific lot, slot. There are memories that can be equipped in many slots, but uh, in general, they have like the slot they want to go into. The installable locations, it should be installable location, which means it's only on the slot two and this installable location in slot one. And what they also have is this straight level and they have a suffix or, you know, a, a, an affix, an implicit affix that increases with this level and, you know, like an additional uh, fixed affix that you cannot change. But this one I can change. And uh, these are the outcomes that I could get from that. Um, for some reason, attack critical damage is there. Uh, but you know, I have the usual minion cast speed. I think there's, I don't know if you can get movement speed here, and also I don't know if you can get more than one. I need to play around with this with this new system a lot. Uh, let me see on this one, for instance. Yeah, I haven't I haven't unlocked one, but you see, when when I increase this level, the base stat is what increases, and uh, eventually when I reach to level twenty, I I can add. A random affix and I have minion damage here and a minion damage here and evasion which is not not good but this one goes up to level 30 because it's purple okay and the traits so uh, here you have all in which I think I think is bad overload for the first time I guess this is good for resummoning which you now do a lot because they completely screwed the 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 last talent. But anyway, I digress. Okay. So what I do is get overload duration, medium attack and cast speed, and have it last as long as I can. This one uh you can get up to level five, and I think it goes to 180% additional duration, at which I haven't done the math, but I think at that point you will get maybe 10 or, or 8 or 10 seconds of overload which might bring you closer to 100% uptime. Now uh, they added these two and this one seems very interesting. It's very interesting but uh, when you see the last trade you realize that this is unusable because you have to play last stand and this will only probably be usable if there is a memory that gives you last stand. Otherwise this is completely unusable. Uh, you have to go last stand. Last stand is pretty much the same as before, except that in order to get the 60% additional damage, you have to increase the trade level to level 5. But you know you still get the reduced restoration and you, you make them uh, unable to die while they have overload, which is not always at the moment. And uh, charge forward. So this one, what it says is they... So this one reduces their life. And for every 5% life increase that you have, you get overload effect. That's pretty good. That's why uh, uh, building into minion life right now might be a valid strategy. They also become bigger. Nice. And uh, so go for broke. It's, in my opinion, completely unusable. It's completely unusable right now. Like, literally, your minions, your minions just kill themselves. Uh, every time you give them overload, as you can see, I'm losing phantoms. Because they take, they're 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 taking damage. So while they have overload, they might be able to survive. You can see it there, but I don't I don't like my minions are not even alive at the moment. So uh, that one is completely unusable, um, probably until you can get veteran to level five. But it might be very good later because it gives you a multiplicative overload effect. Uh, so this can be potential, uh, potentially a lot of damage. 
but for the moment we just do charge forward and uh, basically you have no choice here uh, this is not this is not good this cannot be used you have no choice you have to pick this three uh, otherwise your minions will be will be dying constantly like this is the only way you can keep them alive and yeah for some reason my last stand is not activating probably have to like reset the area uh, and yeah yeah that's pretty much all about the setup um crafting i mean damage is i would like to say is is good like the dummy may say otherwise because based on what we had on previous seasons but uh let me let me show you a i'm actually gonna do a 7-2 map now uh see if i can actually get some some flame elementum and uh to see if i can actually do it well So yeah, it seems like you don't need you don't need a billion DPS to clear this now. And it might be viable to even do T8, although uh my character is very squishy at the moment, so I don't I don't want to put myself through that. But you know, uh, upon improving the defenses and maybe getting a slightly bit more damage, I might be able to actually do some uh TH today. If you haven't, uh, make sure you kill you kill Traveler as soon as you can because there is there is a reward for it. That's why um, I tried rushing, but I, I I couldn't play a lot on on Thursday and uh, Friday was also a little bit complicated. And uh, a lot of people are playing are playing order calling it seems now. So yeah, that wasn't that wasn't too slow. Let me show you the, the kill event. The kill event is here called uh, this Divine Exile. So um, I've been getting all of these every season, but now I'm, I'm going to miss this one. But, you know, you get 800 from Chris. They, they nerfed this. I think it was like a thousand. I don't know why they did that. Uh, maybe they, 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 they didn't want to give that much away. But there's a lot of events. Like this season has a lot of things that you that you can get. Um, so I, I ended up going, uh, 11, uh, sadly, but you know, still 600 jackets. And, uh, it's, if you see my jackets at the moment, I have, uh, 1,400, uh, pretty good. And all of that has been coming from this thing here, the journey. So you get like, uh, steps through your progression, like things that you have to do to make your cars stronger. And you get passive points and uh, jacket primokis and 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 crystals to to summon uh, pack spirits from it. It's very good. I I uh, I like this addition a lot. Uh, like for this one, I I need to get three pieces of empowerments to reach sixty energy. I've only done that once. Uh, I should probably do that to to move along this line. And uh, this is this is the gear one. Which starts with you know a pretty simple thing, just equip things, and then you know use flame sand, use energy cores, use more flame sand, use precious embers, and you get these um, crafting materials which are soul bound. They they are bound, but you know from extra crafting materials, and uh, and then the memory system. The memory system is a little bit convoluted at the moment, but basically you should be doing black cell by the way. And then uh, the divine slate progression, and this is like the actual Netherrealm progression one, where you get, you know, uh, another passive. Uh, so regarding crafting, what you want to do is, you know, you get a piece like this, uh, probably higher level. You click on the slot where you want to get the affix in question, and then you click on on these. So for this one, um, I don't. I don't have fine embers, by the way, so I cannot do this. But uh, probably because this is a very low level item. I mean, let me let me test on like a an actually decent one. Okay, say this glove. Say I wanted to use this glove, so I click here, 
actually have embers to craft. And these are this is what you will roll. And uh, here's the probabilities of it. I think if you open the affix list, it will tell you the weight of everything. So for prefixes, you can see that max life, intelligence, uh, max life and stats have a high weighting. Whereas, um, you know, active skill level, it has an extremely low weighting. So you have, so you don't have a lot of chance to get that. And also active skill level is only an ultimate affix, right? But you have basic advanced and ultimate. I think an, an item can only have one ultimate. It can have two advanced. Maybe priceless is different, but at the moment, what I've seen is only two advanced affixes and you can have as many basics as you want. So you want to make sure you get uh, the advanced suffix or prefix um, that you want. And then you can craft the basic ones. So if I come here and I click this button, I'll get a random affix. In this case, it's a useless one. I can craft again and I can actually get minion damage. And of course, you roll the affix between the tiers. Right now, because of the item level, you can only get up to tier 1, tier 2. Tier 1, you need item level 86, uh, which requires FE to craft, by the way, uh, instead of Flame Sand. Uh, and they changed that, right? This is 86, for instance. Like, every, every attempt of this is, every basic attempt is 1, every advanced attempt is 3, and uh, it's not... Uh, probably ultimates is like 10 and you probably need ultimate embers to do so too uh, so it's very expensive to craft this level 86 but this is the way you will be getting your tier 1 affixes to craft your gg gear for progression uh, so that's pretty much it uh, this is a long video because a lot has changed and uh, i know this was about the, the this is the day one progression video the subsequent videos are not gonna go into much details about a lot of things it will be just i change this i change that and and that's gonna be it uh if you watch until this point i appreciate that now um if you if you if you want to leave a comment on which class you're playing what skill you're playing and uh if you will if you would like to see something explained about the the new systems i know it, it's quite convoluted uh even this i'm uh, uh i'm actually being toying around now that i'm 97 because before that um, if you're starting right now, don't do this until you reach T7 level. It's, it's completely worthless before that. But right now, I'm actually getting some FE. Like, my FE drops have come from here. And I'm going to do a video. Once I actually figure out the mechanic, I'm going to do a video, like, explaining uh, how it works. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.